Welcome to the online reporting system for caseworkers. This short video will take you through the steps of adding clients to your caseload, followed by a second short video which will focus on maintaining and submitting clients. Please make sure you're operating in Firefox as your tool will not work properly if you're working in a different system. The first screen you will see will be your login screen. You will enter your username and your password. This information will have been provided to you by the provincial office and it will be information you will need every time you access this tool. So log in. The next screen you will see will be this screen which has your main menu. You will have a drop down where you will highlight your community. This training tool only has one but you will see your community in that list. You will then go to manage client list. The screen that will come up will be a search screen, so if you already have clients that have been entered, you can enter their last name and their date of birth and search for them. As you can see on this tool, there have already been a number of clients that have been listed. If you want to add a new client, which will be what many of you will be doing, you'll go to the bottom blue box, Add New Client. Click on that and you will be able to enter the last name of a client and their date of birth. Please make sure if you're dealing with twins that have the same last name and the same date of birth, you will need to add another initial, perhaps an M or another letter, the first letter of their name, to their identification. You'll have to scroll through the calendar for their date of birth, and we will just pick that date of birth for the purposes of this tool and you will save. Please make sure that's accurate as you will not be able to go back in and make those changes later. The next screen you will see will be this one. Every time you see that green box you'll have confirmation of the step you just did. Now you will click on the appropriate information, gender, remote perhaps or rural, on reserve, however they're listed and their racial origin, how they identify themselves. Please refer to your manual at all times through definitions of those steps as well as any of the other definitions moving forward. So you will now select the most appropriate client type. What type of a client are they? Are they a caregiver? If they're a caregiver, then you will go to caregiver type and be able to click on any of these that best apply or the one that best applies. If it's a young person in care, you won't have those options. Obviously, the caregiver type for a youth in care would be a foster parent. If it is an adult client, you will be able to access the dependents box at the bottom and will add the dependents. If you're dealing with the youth as we are, you will just leave that blank. So move to the next screen. And you will now have um, editing the service record for the client. So the first visit status. So this will happen only on the first visit. So you will select the one of the following for assessment. If you cl click on FASD diagnosis, then you will select the FASD type. FASD, FAS, you will be able to refer to your manual for exact definitions on what these types are. Then secondary diagnosis. You'll click any of these that also apply. We'll just click one. We'll click depression for now. Move to the next screen. And now presenting issues. You can here select all that apply. So your client may deal with one or more of these issues. We'll just click education for purposes of this tool. But please click everyone that applies and it will lead to, you, to a screen later or you'll put a service in place to address that issue. Next, now we will click the service type. So one of the following. So we'll now determine what type of service this child needs. So Benjamin, our client, will pick supports for him and go to the next. Again, refer to your manual if you're not sure what any of those mean. And now what type of support we want to put in place for our client Benjamin. So we will pick one-to-one -one mentoring and next. So now what we'll see is 
basically a summary sheet of what we've selected. So you can see education has been highlighted. It's a faint green box. That's one we've chosen. And we'll go to the next screen. And education is what we flagged as the service that we need. So uh, we can see that it's in progress. If it's a new client starting off, it's probably going to be in progress. There's other selections you can also apply. Again, refer to your tracking sheets and your intake forms for the best information. And we can click for education. We can see that uh, we'll click any one of these that apply, all of them that apply. So go through your list and determine that. Now your screen that will come up after that will show you the services that you have in place, the presenting issue the, is education, status is in progress, and number of contacts. So what this means by number of contacts is the number of visits, number of phone calls, number of times you've made contact with that client. So for this quarter. And so we're saying we've had four visits with this client in over the last four weeks, let's say. And uh, we're making sure here that you are in the appropriate quarter that you're working in at all times. So for this quarter, that's what we're saying. And you complete that. Now we can see you'll get this green box confirming that this client service record for Benjamin has been completed. So if you go down to the bottom of that screen, you'll see the Y under completed, and that's what you need to see in order for you to be able to submit that file. If you want to go back and add a new service for Benjamin client, you can press on this box and it'll allow you to add a new service as well. If not, you can go back to the top, you can navigate back to your main menu, which will take you to your managed client list. And this goes back to, again to the summary of clients you have or you can search for a client if you want. And now you can see that all of these clients have been completed. You can see by the Y's along the right hand side it's completed. So even if someone has chosen no service for this quarter that still completes their file. And once they're all completed you'll see a Y along the end and that means all the files are completed and now you will be allowed to submit your client service list. So press that, it'll prompt you, say yes, I do want to proceed. I will submit my client list and then you'll receive confirmation again in the green box that this client service list for this quarter has been submitted. So now your clients will sit with your agency manager and if you try to add more clients you'll get this screen saying that's already been submitted. If you need that information back because you want to add another client or add new information, you must contact your agency manager and they will have to unsubmit your file and send it back to you because your work with submitting these client files for this quarter is then complete.